You may remember a few weeks ago when passing the Lego store, I picked up a few spooky themed minifigures. And adding this onto the spooky figures I've got from the last two or three years, I'm starting my own Halloween collection. And that means I got plenty of minifigures to create a bunch of different stories around the Lego city for at least the next couple of weeks. I do realize I've left this a bit late. There's only one week left until Halloween. So perhaps next year we'll start this a bit early but this week i've got a few stories i would like to tell including a ton of pumpkins that i'm gonna paint different colors because there's only a handful of colors that lego officially make and i'm also going to be adding a few floating sharks which i think could be pretty spooky but next week i will be adding your comments into the city so if there's something spooky or perhaps you want something added to one of the scenes do let me know down in the comments as next week i am putting you in the spotlight and adding your spooky ideas straight into the lego city so these pumpkins that i have 3d printed i've roughly painted one of them and a few of these are going to need a really good sanding but the reason i printed them is to get a few different colors like i mentioned the lego don't already make there are going to be probably a few orange ones sprinkled throughout but pumpkin patches are usually a bunch of different colors and unlike this giant pumpkin i've got in the background here i wanted to have a bit of diversity in my pumpkin patches i also want to quickly run through the minifigures because you might not get a good look at them later on of course you've seen these from the build a minifigure video we've got this skeleton tracksuit which does look really really cool we've also got this scarecrow like witch which i created which I created off the BAM station and I quite like how this one has turned out so I have kept that as I built it originally. We've also got this really cool torso here from the Build a Mini Figure Station from this year but also a few from the last few years. So we have this Jack O' Lantern helmet which I think was added to BAM either last year or the year before but I picked him up last year with the Happy Halloween torso. Gave him some bright orange legs that I had to spare to match the Jack O' Lantern top. And also from two years ago now, we've got this blue witch, which I believe there was, which I believe there was a similar hat for this year's witch. But I quite like the fact that we've got a bit of variation in these figs. We've also got this spider queen minifigure, which I am going to be getting my spiders out and creating a whole scene. Perhaps I should... 3D print an even bigger spider for this minifigure to sit on, but I'll let you decide that in the comments. We've got this evil scientist. I mean, he doesn't look too evil. He does look like he has seen a few things, but I paired it with Luke's legs because as you can see, that torso and leg combination does match up really, really well. And it also freed up the legs for one of my Star Wars minifigures. I think I've used it on a custom Padme. And then you've also seen, I do have a spare Gandalf from the original Lord of the Rings theme, and I have created this Mal witch, this wizard, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm gonna call him a witch because it matches with the other two, but I've definitely got to create a massive cauldron for the three to surround. I've also switched up a few of the other BAM pieces. You can see I've created Mr. Oz as the Lego store employee. So we have this clown minifigure, which is just a ton of spare parts and it does look mismatched. The whip does go with the black arm and it's just a quite creepy minifigure. If you do create your own custom minifigures, you always end up with these spare parts. And I think it represents the creepiness that some people see in clowns. Personally, I don't mind clowns, but it just works for the minifigure. And then last but not least, we have the zombie here, which you would have seen. I took away with me to the trip to the Lego store. And I realized this is actually a zombie driver that I have removed the hat and removed the glove, but it works as a zombie minifigure. So it's definitely making it to the Lego city. And on top of them 10 minifigures, I had to include my four arms Vader, my Grievous Vader that uses Lord Garmadon's torso from Ninjago, another really cool Ninjago piece that enables us to give a few extra arms to our minifigures. And I think this is everyone's worst nightmare. I thought I'd also be able to run through with you how I am deciding to paint these because I have a few of these different acrylic paints of various colors, oranges, yellow, and even a green here just to decide what colors I'm going with. And honestly, all I am doing is putting down a bit of one color and taking so because we've got the green let's add a bit of 
yellow into it and you know what just because i'm doing this on camera and i'm interested to see what would happen if we mix all the colors let's add a bit of orange we won't put this and the three colors i have used is light green ochre yellow and orange some of these do have a lot more interesting names but we'll just take a bit of this and mix one of the corners this is probably going to end up looking a bit brownie but the whole idea is just to create some really autumny colors we might actually get a really nice dark green color here and then we'll take one of our pumpkins just down here put a bit of color on them and you know what for mixing all of the colors i don't think that's half bad so i'm gonna paint probably four pumpkins like this then we'll get a more orangey color four pumpkins four pumpkins yellow and just create a few bundles of each color and this is a custom little drying rack as well that i created so i can just stand the pumpkins on top and these longer elements make it so much easier to paint anything small without getting a ton of paint over my fingers so it's probably best to give you a little rundown as to why i am painting pumpkins by the way i found this really well i'm not sure if it's a trick or anything but if i paint around the bottom of them first i can then paint up the sides and it's fairly straightforward but i did end up dropping one and i do have paint just up my arm over my top and all over the floor so the cleanup is going to be a lot more than i expected initially but i like the fact that because these are painted and not 3d printed even with specific colors of filament they're all going to be very different and i've actually sanded these down to get any of the sharp edges off but kept a few little bumps and little differences across each of the pumpkins just to make each of these unique as they would be in a pumpkin patch and you can see just whilst explaining that i have already painted this the first few did take a bit longer and then i'm standing these on these little display stands just to dry up and then we'll get on to the next colors but i quite like how these are going to look it's more of a swampy green than a sand green i said sand green earlier and it's definitely not a sand green and like i said lego don't make every single color so it is nice to have a few different ones plus i am on that 3d printed lego height so i'm not sure how i'm feeling i can't exactly pick it up because i've got paint all over my fingers already i'm not quite sure how i'm feeling about the green i definitely want to go closer towards the orange colors for the pumpkins but i'm happy that we got some green ones that perhaps aren't ready or ripe and i'm going to paint the rest of these now and whilst they dry let's take a look at the city i really didn't think painting those pumpkins would take so long but as you can see i've got the lights set up i have decorated the city and i just want to give a fair bit of warning there are going to be a ton of lego spiders throughout so if you don't like spiders click away now but let's take a look at the halloween city as you can see the city has been filled with a ton of cobwebs We've got a ton of spiders and we've got all of the painted pumpkins. But I want to go over some specific stories. Like up here, we've got not only the zombie chilling with the robotics, but we've got five black scorpions chasing this mountain climber, which is why he's running up the stairs with all fours. It's just a good thing these scorpions can't go up the stairs. We've also got the evil scientist down here who's looking a bit sickly and it's nothing to do with the spiders taking control of this land speeder but rather the clown creepily just chilling in the dark tunnel at the end we have a few bats and spiders dotted around and this spider web that has somehow gone over the door we've got these floating sharks here which i have stolen from a christmas special of doctor who and finally darth vader has the high ground so it is over for anyone that stands in his way the witches aren't by a cauldron i might make them a cauldron for next week but they do have some drinks that they are slurping down on and we got these dreamlings from the dream series that lego make biting off some of the spiders here with the spider queen herself i am so happy with how these pumpkins turned out you can see i do like the green ones after all and i put them front and center but we've got some pumpkins dotted around the city I'll just give you a nice sweeping look over everything. And I've also added Mr. Oz into the Lego store. So that's ready for the next update, though. Again, that'll probably be 
next year. I quite like how this looks and how spooky I have made this just with the use of cobwebs, spiders, and of course my hand painted pumpkins. And then we've got the little mascot joining 3PO by the Taylor Town Road sign. So let me know what you think of these 3D printed hand painted pumpkins. I like the textures and the different consistency as well as just the fact there are colors that Lego just haven't made and the specific tones of orange even. I've mixed in so many other different colors. They stand out from the typical Lego one. So let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of the city again. Definitely let me know what you would like to see added for next week and check out the other videos on screen now. I hope you have an awesome week and may the bricks be with you always.